Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Paul Fletcher. I am a certified master teacher, certified through the Tao Academy. It's my honor to be connecting with you today. It's a little bit rushed this morning, had quite a few things to do, and actually was just connecting with another master teacher to assist them with some technical things up to this very last moment when coming live. And so I was looking through some of Master Shah's books, uh, deciding on what to chat about today and how I can best serve you. And I came across this book, uh, Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. And <clears throat> there are some great, uh, beautiful slices of wisdom for our physical and health and wellness. And so today I'll be focusing on several of them uh, using the wisdom called near hand, far hand. And uh, when Master Shah first started teaching in Americas, uh, he came from China. He, at that time, he had his um, Western medical degree and his uh, Eastern medicine Chinese degree. So he had two medical degrees. One, they were both received while he was in China, but one was American medicine, one was Chinese medicine. And he was also a world-class acupuncturist. And he uh, had come to Canada, actually, to, uh, to start his business, and a very, very successful business doing one-needle acupuncture. <clears throat> and uh, right around that time, uh, through his spiritual training, through his, his uh, spiritual father, Master Guo, Master Guo had been communicating with uh, the divine, God, source, whatever you call the creator, uh, for quite a long time and uh, and so it was not abnormal it was not weird it was not unusual for Master Shah to also have uh, direct conversations uh, with the divine and uh, so the divine came to him and said I want you to move and I want you to do only uh, soul wisdom teaching and so he had the basically had a choice do I continue with my million dollar a year business or do I go teach soul healing and leave my family and that was his choice so he left his family wife and kids of course he's still with them but he physically left them <clears throat> and moved to San Francisco following the guidance that he received from the source and started teaching near hand far hand and now he could have taught near hand far hand to anybody but he started teaching it to those with stage 4 cancer so that's an idea of some of the things we'll be talking about today and the power and significance of it so welcome Jen welcome uh, Carly, Aloha Samba, welcome also Kathleen Monahan, Aloha Kristen, thank you for your service. Welcome Eileen, uh, welcome Pranjal, and Aloha also Rina, welcome Aileen. Welcome Crane, welcome Victor, Aloha Shelly, welcome also to Rashna and Dana Victoria. Thank you all for your presence, thank you for clicking on the share button. And so we're going to work on a couple of different things. One is going to be the condition of high blood pressure. And I will show you some near hand, far hand techniques. If you don't have high blood pressure, uh, then this is a good technique to do anyway because it will normalize your blood pressure. If you have low blood pressure, then of course you would not do this practice because that's the opposite of high blood pressure. And you don't want your blood pressure to go lower, right? Uh, so um, you have to be use and apply common sense and then I'll also do a few other practices now one thing that is important uh, about this is to not uh, just instantly apply the basic wisdom of near hand far hand to everything that you think about um, it is important to if you like this wisdom and you like <coughs> uh, working with it to um, to get the book and the reason why is because there's over a hundred images and a hundred specific directions with each uh, suggestion. There's one for the eyes, there's one for the sinuses, there's one for back pain, there's one for the kidneys, there's one for just about every ailment you can think of, a near hand, far hand body posture. And you want to get them correct and accurate. You don't want to do it improperly. So it is suggested that if uh, this is of interest to you that you do purchase the book just so you can make sure you're getting the right uh, hand postures, near hand, far hand, hand postures. <coughs> uh, welcome also to Susan Birchmore. 
Um, so let us go ahead and connect while Facebook is gathering a few more souls, placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, uh, or prayer position, whichever comfortable for you. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center, and the right hand gently points towards heaven. Close your eyes and let us connect. Dear our beloved divine creator, by whatever name you go by, we love you, we honor you, we deeply appreciate you. We ask for your guidance, wisdom, and blessings today. Dear all of the beings of light, serving the light side, including our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin, beloved Krishna, Vishnu, beloved Ganesha, Muhammad, angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, and saints, Buddhas and bodhisattvas, there are individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you all, honor, respect you all, and we humbly and sincerely ask for your presence today to serve in whatever way is most appropriate. We are deeply humbled, deeply grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of all of our downloads and treasures, please turn on. And as we do these practices today, Please assist so that we receive the greatest benefits. Thank you. Dear the song of love, peace, and harmony, we love you and we appreciate you. As we sing this beautiful song, we invite you to please bless each and every one watching today on the line. Bless us to further align our soul, heart, mind, and body to our soul journey and to our health and wellness. Thank you. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony one round to fully connect and to set the energy field. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Lula, lula, wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai zi ren an ling, ling ling er mu xie xiong, xiong ai ping an er xie. Xiong ai ping on her xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. <clears throat> how, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So most of you are uh, students that have been following this wisdom for a while. And you may or may not have learned some of this earlier wisdom that Master Shah brought. So the book Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine is considered a foundational book. In it I have covered the uh, many of the teachings to you including the foundational energy practices the hand positions for the foundational energy practice even the mantras suggested come directly from this book so it's been out there for about 15 years and without a doubt it is one of the best uh, that Master Shah has created um, a few things have changed in the wisdom since then but he goes into the initial teachings of what is healing power uh, how do you distribute energy? What is the soul? Uh, relationship of soul, mind, and body. How to say hello? You know, saying hello to the inner soul, saying hello to the outer souls. Um, so there is quite a few uh, wisdom teachings in here. This is the beginning of when he starts talking about love melting all blockages. He speaks about mind over matter. Um, there is quite a few meditation suggestions in here. He talks about Wang Ar Hong. You remember that practice, right? When we're balancing the upper, middle, and lower jowls. So a lot of the wisdom that has been taught uh, directly on these live streams and through my classes come from this book. Uh, even San San Zhou Lu Bai Ao Wu as originates in this book. And so there are tremendous, tremendous 
wealth of wisdom in this book, Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. If you don't have it yet, you need to put it in your arsenal of wisdom available to you. Now in here is, let me mark this page so I don't lose it, is a series of images and each one goes to a different body part, organ, or system, <clears throat> uh, or health condition. There is headaches, there is high blood pressure, low blood pressure, stroke, tumors, conditions of the eyes. There's like four or five different body postures for conditions of the eyes, the nostrils, toothache, uh, conditions of the ears, conditions of the neck, conditions of mumps, tuberculosis, asthma, uh, pneumonia, etc. And so these have tremendous power. A lot of people, they don't give enough, um, they don't give enough emphasis to these simple but very effective daily practices. So let's talk about them. Near hand, far hand, what is it and why does it work? When Master Shah uh, was asked to leave his million dollar a year practice, go to another country and start teaching uh, near hand, far hand, start teaching Joe, 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 he was basically asked to trust the divine. He was asked to do something that he had not learned before and to try to save people's lives with it, which is what he was doing before with his, with his life-saving acupuncture technique. But he trusted the source, he trusted God, and he moved. <clears throat> and he started teaching down in the San Francisco area to uh, anybody who would come, but he was specifically advertising to those with stage degree, fourth stage cancer, and anybody else who showed up. This is where Master Jimena additionally or originally showed up. She had uh, incredible abdominal discomfort and she had tried every doctor and every natural doctor and basically was just surviving. But every time she came to one of Master Shah's events where he was teaching Qigong practices and he was also teaching Zhou, 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 near hand, far hand techniques, she would feel better. Master Amena had plenty of money and she wanted, she wanted to just pay Master Shah to fix it. Just fix it. I'll pay you whatever money it takes. I know you can do it. You're, you're a master teacher. You're a doctor. I know you can fix me. Just fix me. I'll pay you. And Master Shah said, no, I'm not going to do that. You have to learn how to do it yourself. So he's never a man about the money, no matter what people think. And so what did he teach? What did he teach the stage four cancer people? And it worked. He taught them near hand, far hand. Why does it work? Welcome Maggie, welcome Pamela, welcome Felix, welcome Cora, Aloha Vanessa, welcome Dan. <clears throat> if anybody else, if I missed your name, welcome. Thank you for your presence. So why does near hand, far hand work? Because it works on the basic understanding that the human body loves balance. What kind of balance? energetic balance. We are made up of energy and matter. That energy and matter is animated, life source animated by heaven and mother earth. The energy and matter within our body vibrates. This is foundational uh, energetic wisdom that Master Shah teaches in this book. Welcome Lisa Martinez. So this basic foundational wisdom uh, is that your body vibrates, energy and matter within you vibrates. And that the reason you vibrate is because heaven's life force energy is, is operating through you. And in this vibration energy of your energy and your matter, your heart has energy and matter, your lungs, the condition of asthma, whatever the condition is, this energy and matter is vibrating. When the energy and matter are vibrating in relative balance, you have health. When you are not in relative balance, you have health discord. You have problems with the health. <clears throat> so what does that look like? Let's, for example, say pain. Pain is an energy and matter imbalance. So is a tumor. So is a headache. So is high blood pressure. From the very base foundation, it means that your energy and matter is not operating in relative balance. Okay, let's go one layer deeper. Welcome uh, Pyramid Deli, welcome Carl, welcome Bruce, and aloha Lisa Martinez. So what is one layer deeper? Okay, 
energy and matter convert back and forth into each other. When you look at energy and matter under the microscope, they actually see uh, matter pop into space and then disappear. And it pops back into space and then it disappears. Um, and physics would tell you that the reason it pops into space is because you focused on it. And the reason it disappears is because you changed your focus. That's what physics would say. And because that's what they see. But energy and matter converts back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You have cells in your body. Cells are comprised of energy and matter. What the microscope can see is all the matter. When the cells contract, the matter converts to energy outside the cell. When the cells expand, you know, think about a cell expanding, then the energy outside the cell converts back to the matter inside the cell. So matter converts to energy, energy converts to matter. The cell is breathing, dunk, 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 dunk. Compressing, expanding, compressing, expanding. So this compression expansion of matter to energy, energy to matter, happens in your body. And it happens in all your organs and all your systems. So let's think about blood flowing. When somebody has pain, then that is an area that is inflamed. The inflamed area of the body, the energy and the matter is not in relative balance. There is not sufficient blood flow to the area because the inflammation is stopping sufficient blood flow. If there was sufficient blood flow, it would be carrying endorphins that the brain releases. The endorphins bring pain relief to the area. So the endorphins cannot get to the area because there's inflammation there. The inflammation uh, could have been caused by something physical. It could have been caused by, by other means. But regardless, there is a source that Western medicine identifies. The soul, mind, body medicine practice of near hand, far hand recognizes that energy and matter operate side by side and that there needs to be balance. And right now they're in an imbalanced state. So how then do we balance the energy and matter? Welcome, Mark. Welcome. Um, gosh, I can't pronounce that name. Cigarts. I know I've destroyed it, but forgive me. Uh, welcome, and welcome, Heike. And so, <clears throat> welcome, Pamela. So we want to balance the energy and matter. And so Pamela says suffering from stomach. So I'll find some stomach ones to show also. We'll use that as an example as well. So first we're going to show you an example of high blood pressure uh, practice. Now, let me clearly state if you have low blood pressure, do not do this practice. Why? Because this lowers your blood pressure. If you have normal blood pressure, it's okay to do this practice. If you have high blood pressure, highly recommend you do this practice. If you have low blood pressure, do not do this practice. Is that clear? Okay? All right. So this is the picture that Master Shah has in the book, and you see his hands. One palm is the fingers connected but pointing down to the top of the crown of the head. And the other palm is about uh, a foot away, 7 to 14 inches away from the lower abdomen. Now, the basic foundation of near hand, far hand is high pressure, low pressure. Repeat, high pressure, low pressure. Now, when you use the words high blood pressure, it's easy to understand. But what about stomach pain? What about neck pain? There's you, the application of pressure doesn't make sense there. So this is a different terminology. Think of it like if you were in a house, inside the house, and there was it was burning, right? There would be black smoke everywhere. Does smoke rise or does smoke fall? Well, for those of you that are not familiar with it, smoke rises. So smoke rises, and how do you clear out the smoke in the house? You walk over to the door or window, or in this case, crawl over, and you open the window. What happens to the smoke? The smoke goes out. You open the door, the smoke goes out. Why? Because there was a high pressure condition. And when you open the door or window, pressure is released. Do you understand that basic concept? So this is what near hand, far hand does. It balances the energy and the matter in the body by balancing the pressure by giving the energy and the matter the opportunity to convert. Energy, matter, matter, energy, energy, matter. And they convert back and forth to each other 
balancing the pressure so that the blood can flow properly, so that the life force healing chi that heaven and mother earth are sending to you can occur. Have you ever heard of Tai Chi? Have you ever heard of Qi Gong? Probably have. You'll notice the movements are like this, right? Beautiful flowing movements. You'll also notice that typically they're centered around the middle of the body, the lower abdominal area. There are literally hospitals in China that only do Qi Gong 10 hours a day. The, the patients come there with cancers and everything else, and they do Tai Chi and Qi Gong and energy-based practices, and they leave healed. Uh, they don't do that in America. They don't do that in the West. But these forms of practices work. Why? Because they are adjusting the energy and the matter. They are adjusting the pressurization throughout the body. That's your foundation. Now, let's do the practice. So welcome, Ilona. Welcome, Lucy Lee. <clears throat> welcome also to uh, Susan Russellman. So again, this is one of the practices we'll be doing. This is, we're looking at um, this one here, high blood pressure. And you see the image where the person, Master Shah, has one hand above the head. Now that's about four inches above the head, the top center. And uh, the other palm is in front of the lower abdomen. So you go ahead and do that. One palm above the head fingers pointing down, and the other palm about a foot away from the abdomen. Now your elbow is bent, okay? It's not straight out there. It's slightly bent. And the center of your palm is facing your belly button, okay? That's your position. You can be standing, you can be sitting, but if you're sitting, bring your back away from the back of the chair, okay? This is your body power. Now, Master pa Shah offers four power technique, body power, soul power, sound power, very important, sound power, very important, and mind power. I just showed you the body power. We'll do that together in just a moment. Welcome, uh, Master Martin. For the sound power, we are going to chant E Jo. E stands for the number one, which represents the head area of the body. Jo stands for the number nine. These are Mandarin Chinese numbers, E Jo. So throughout all of this uh, practices in this particular book, Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine, Master Sha teaches over 100 near hand, far hand practices, and each of them offer a number combination. The numbers represent an area of the body, like the lungs area, the heart area, is San. Everybody repeat, San, 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 San. That's the number three. E is the number one. E represents the head area. San represents the chest area. Jo, number nine, represents the lower abdomen. And so we're moving the chi, we're moving the energetic imbalance from one area of the body to another area of the body. Excuse me, let me rephrase that. We're not moving the imbalance. We're adjusting the imbalance of the pressure in the body. We're adjusting the imbalance of the energy and matter by... Uh, chanting a mantra and where our hand position is adjusting the energy in the matter and this is called near hand far hand so we're combining four powers so the sound power E Jo uh, gives the energetic intelligence gives the body um, a vibrational frequency that says move the imbalance from here down to the bottom much like uh, if you're in a room on fire, uh, what do we do? We go, we open the door, and the smoke leaves, right? Remember that analogy? When we want the, the pressure to dissipate, so we open the window, we open the door. When we put the hands in the positions we're telling you, you are opening the window, you are opening the door, you are releasing the pressure, so to speak. Get it? Welcome, Rosetta. Welcome also to uh, Dan uh, and Aloha, Jason. And so this is the wisdom. Now, we also apply the other two powers. Mind power. Mind power is creative visualization. So what do you visualize? You visualize bright golden light flowing from the area where the pressure is to the area you want it to go. Now, in Master Shah's wisdom, there is no uh, negative energies. There is only imbalanced energies. And so uh, the headache 
in this case, high blood pressure, whatever we're working with, it's not a bad thing. Cancer is not a bad thing. It's just a bunch of energy and matter that's coalesced into a tumor condition. So we want to release the pressure, balance the energy and matter. And so when the light, for example, of a high blood pressure, we want to visualize it coming from the uh, top of our body to the lower part of our body, thereby balancing. If you had a tumor condition, and if we were doing a practice in here for the tumor condition, you are not bringing that from one area of the body to another. You are releasing the pressure in one area and bringing that excess energy, which is in this wisdom, the areas that have inflammation, the areas that have tumors, the areas that have too much going on, these are excess in nature. We want to lessen that excess of energy and put that excess of energy in an area that we want it. And that's why in a lot of these practices, we empower the lower abdomen. We bring extra energy into the lower abdomen. No different than how uh, you do Tai Chi and Qigong, all the martial arts, what do they do? They empower the lower abdomen, which is the uh, second energy center, lower Don Tian, okay? And so <clears throat> this practice, is all about movement of chi, life force energy, and putting it where you want it to be. It's not about uh, uh, what is uh, a negative or a positive. All right, so soul power is the most important of these four powers. So we've discovered body power, where you place your hands. Again, uh, don't do it now, but where you place them. One palm above the center of your head, about three to four inches away, with your fingers uh, connected like this, but pointing down. And the other palm, where the center of your palm is about 12 inches away from your abdomen, and the center of your palm is facing your belly button. That's your body power. Sound power, we will say, e jo, e jo. And while we say that, your eyes will be closed. You'll be visualizing the light coming down to your lower abdomen, filling your lower abdomen. Remember, if you have low blood pressure, do not do this practice because this is lowering your blood pressure. If you have normal blood pressure, perfectly okay. And then the soul power. What is soul power? Inviting the outer souls and talking to our inner souls, saying hello. So let's do this together. You can place your hands in prayer position, very simple hand position, or you can drop the left hand in front of your heart center. Close your eyes and let's ask those in the soul world that wish to serve to come. And this is if you're comfortable. Repeat, dear my beloved divine creator, dear all the beings of light that have been invited to this practice today, dear my own soul and my own heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints, I love you, I honor you, deeply respect you. Could you please bless this practice and the other practices that we may do today? Thank you. Now we talk to our inner souls. Dear the soul of my blood system, my uh, cardiovascular system, my heart, I love you. You have the power to balance yourself. You have the power to lower my blood pressure or to normalize my blood pressure. Do a good job. Thank you. Very simple soul connection, okay? Now close your eyes, place one palm above your head, about three to four inches, the other palm, elbow slightly bent, about 12 inches away, center of your palm facing your lower abdomen. And as we close our eyes, visualizing the light, filling up your lower abdomen, and we will chant, e jo, e jo, e jo, e jo. This will work well if you have a headache as well. E jo, 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 e jo. Ejo, 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 Ejo. Why do I chant at different speeds? I will also ask you to chant silently because it vibrates the large spaces and the small spaces. Ejo, 
以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、faster、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上。以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上、以上。Chant silently. It's just as effective, but you, when you chant silently, you vibrate the small spaces. 以上、以上、以上、以上。以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上 See the light filling up your lower abdomen. Feel the pressure moving from the upper part of your body, boosting and empowering the lower part of your body. 以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上以上 silently 以上以上以上以上以上 Just like a teardrop, see a huge amount of light growing in your lower abdomen. E jo, e jo, e jo, e jo, e jo, e jo. Faster, but silently. E jo, 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 e jo. If your arms are tired, it's okay to switch your arms. We'll do it a little bit longer. Out loud again. E jo, 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 e jo. E jo, 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 e jo. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those that are new, how is a Mandarin Chinese word that means complete, perfect health, get well, complete. Um. So this is an example. Now I'm going to flip through. One of the students said that they have some stomach issues. Okay. So in the back of the book is an index, and you can literally, if you have a condition, you can get the book. It's called Soul Mind Body Medicine. And again, for those that just came in late, many many pictures of body postures and the sound powers, the mantras, everything that is、uh, necessary. Or there's about 110 ailments listed in here, so it will probably cover a lot of what you're doing. Uh, and this is a self-help guide. This is something that, with the high blood pressure, Master、uh, Francisco, when he first met Master Shaw, like 17, 18 years ago, he had high blood pressure. Now he was a young man. Think about this—like 24, 25, and、uh, he was a school teacher. And he actually had significant、uh, high blood pressure for a young man. I guess the kids were driving him crazy. Anyway, he did this practice. And his blood pressure normalized. Now he had to do it. He said for about a year,、uh, for about an hour every day. But no drugs, because he didn't want to. Didn't want to do drugs. He could have combined it with other practices like Tai Chi and Qigong and accelerated his、uh, results. But、uh, he was just doing this practice. Okay. So stomach healing conditions of two forty five. We'll go to that page. So who gets stomach aches, right? Most of us have stomach aches. 
inflammation or gas, right? Inflammation or gastritis. There is uh, ulcers. There is descended stomach, enlarged spleen. Okay, there is different uh, options here for stomach. So, conditions of the spleen and stomach, stomach inflammation or gastritis. So this is a good general uh, practice. And there's actually three steps to it. So I don't expect that you're going to memorize this. But there are three steps, and let me explain why. The first step is to balance the upper part here because there's a problem going on in this area. And it helps to balance the spleen, I believe. Let me see what it's doing, focusing on. Uh, Wu Qi. So it's balancing the stomach and the liver. Interesting. So the first step is balancing the stomach and the liver. So in Eastern traditional medicine, they're saying the wood element has a factor leading to the effect of the stomach. The second step is balancing the wood element to the heart. This is for stomach inflammation or gastritis. So they're, they're saying this association with the wood element and the heart, which is normal in Eastern traditional medicine. The third step is balancing the heart as a whole. So this is saying that the spleen and stomach, stomach inflammation and gastritis, are directly associated with liver and heart. Interesting. So do other people have stomach inflammation? Do other people have gastritis? Let's do this. So you may or may not, but if nothing else, it will help to, uh, to normalize our digestion, right? And it'll also strengthen the liver and the heart. Very good practices. So how do we do this? Near hand, far hand. The near hand, we'll say that's the left hand for now, faces the stomach. Where is your stomach? The stomach is on the center left side of your body. Okay? So uh, it's not just in the center. It's not just in the left. It's the center left. And it's at the bottom of your rib cage. So that's where the stomach is. Your hand will be about four inches away. And the right hand will face the liver, which is on the right side of your body. And it's going to be about... 12 inches away, elbow slightly bent. The sound power is wu chi. Wu is the stomach. Chi is going to be the sound power for the liver. Okay? And so, again, repeat. Left hand about 4 inches away from the left rib cage. Right hand about 12 inches away from the right rib cage. This is the first step. Our sound power is wu chi. And we're going to visualize light flowing from the stomach to the liver. Okay? So light flowing from the left side of the body to the right side of the body. Close your eyes. Let us begin. Wu Chi. 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 Wu chi, 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 silently. Wu Chi, 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 Wu Chi. Silently faster. Wu chi, 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 wu 
Chi. Out loud, Wu Chi, Wu Chi, Wu Chi, Wu Chi. Okay, and now let's do step two. Near hand, point the right hand at the liver. Okay, so now your near hand is the right hand, about four inches away from your liver. Your liver is on the right side. And you shake the right hand. So you're shaking it a little bit towards the liver. And the far hand, which is your left hand now, will be uh, about 12 inches away from the heart. Okay, from the right atrium of the heart. So the right atrium is more towards the center. And so the far hand is towards the heart. Okay, and the liver below your right rib cage, that's where your liver is, hand is about four inches away and shake, shake your right hand. And the sound power is going to be chi r, chi r. You're going to visualize golden light or white light going from the liver to the right side of the heart. We'll close your eyes, let us begin. Chi R, 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 Chi R. Chi R 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 silently Chi R 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 Chi R, Chi R. See the light going from the liver to the heart. Chi R, Chi R. See it go to the right ventricle of the heart. Chi R, Chi R, Chi R, Chi R. Chi R Chi R Chi R Chi R. Ha. And now for the final step, and most steps are just one step at a time. But this one is recognizing that several organs are involved in the gastritis condition. It's not just the stomach, as Western medicine might look at it. That's why there's three steps. This is not normal. Almost all of these are one step, but this one happens to have three steps. So the third step is um, the left hand is closest to the heart, to the left side of the heart, okay? So closer to your arm, the left side, your hand will be about four inches away, focusing on the left side of the heart, and the right hand <coughs> is focusing on the right side of the heart, a little bit higher than the left hand. So basically both hands are focused towards the heart, Left hand is closer, right hand is farther away. And the right hand, your fingers are back pointed towards the right side of the heart. Again, left hand towards the left side of the heart, closer. Right hand farther away, pointed towards the right side of the heart. And the sound power is R, R, A R, R. Okay, close your eyes, visualize healthy heart. Let us begin. R, R, R. R, 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 Think about healthy heart, your heart glowing and getting healthier. R, 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 R. R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R
silently. R R R R R R R R. Healthy heart. Healthy heart. Healthy heart. Healthy heart. R R R R. Healthy heart. Healthy heart. Healthy heart. Healthy heart. How how how. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So for those that had any stomach discomfort, any gastrointestinal discomfort or gas, please advise any thing that you may have noticed as far as a shift. Okay. So let's wrap it up. Uh, so you understand exactly what the purpose is of near hand, far hand. The energy and matter of the human body is always striving to be in relative balance. When we are out of balance, the energy cannot convert to matter easily. The, inner, the matter cannot convert back to energy easily. And because of that, it creates a problem in inflammation or lack of chi flow. When chi is moving, blood follows. Okay? So when we have relative balance in our small spaces of our body and the big spaces, small spaces is like in between the cells, the big spaces is like between the organs and systems, when the chi can flow, when energy and matter is in relative balance, then we are healthy. So tumors, inflammation, all of the blood pressures, all of these problems, pain, suffering, these are imbalances in the energy and matter. And the wisdom in the book, Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine, begins with an understanding that we can use the four power technique to balance the energy and matter. Now we used one example of high blood pressure and that example works very, very well. You should do it often. We used another example for balancing a gastrointestinal stomach issue and uh, that actually was a little complex. It took uh, three steps, but that's not normal. But it goes to show you the different approach. Western medicine would go straight to the stomach. Eastern medicine looks at it differently. They would say, no, the stomach has way too much pressure and is causing an imbalance in your wood element, the liver, which is also causing an imbalance in the fire element, your heart. And this is the association of the gastrointestinal imbalance. Completely different approach. So uh, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. If you want to know if this resolves the gastrointestinal issue, then you need to try it. So again, you can purchase the book if you wish. I'm not selling the book. I'm not pushing the book. But there's over 100 pictures with 100 instructions. And so you want to make sure you get it correct. Okay. Now, to wrap this up, if you want to, uh, to heal uh, with more expediency than doing a step-by-step -step like this, uh, I gave an, uh, there's a person with high blood pressure that I gave a blessing to for a heart. They received a transmission system for their heart, which uh, released tremendous amount of negative energy blockages. Uh, they received a light wall protection around the heart, which uh, does a lot to ensure those negative energies do not come back. And then they received uh, a blessing, uh, light treasures that effectively uh, brings huge positive messages, huge positive energy that change the way the energy and matter in the heart function. Uh, basically, the, the messages that come say, this is how a perfect heart functions. And uh, I'm just describing this as simply as I possibly can. But in essence, the way the heart <laughs> had been functioning was based on negative <laughs> excuse me, negative messages was saying, you know, work this way. And obviously the heart was not working properly. The cardiovascular system was imbalanced. And so when the new messages came in with the positive energies, with the final transmission, the first one clearing the negative messages, the second one putting protection around that area, the third one bringing in new positive energy and messages, then instantly this person's condition uh, uh, immediately was benefited. I then offered a crown chakra blessing, what's called a soul light blessing, to uh, bring balance to their cardiovascular system, energetically speaking, and uh, they had remarkable results. So there are different ways to bring about balance to uh, health conditions in the body. And the root causes, according to uh, my teacher, Dr. Master Shop, is the root cause is our negative messages. Those thoughts, words, and actions that we have brought upon others in our, in our thoughts, in the way we speak, and in the, the unpleasant actions we may have 
created in others' worlds. Just think about it. If you, if you were a boss and you fired somebody, wouldn't that create high blood pressure in them? It's certainly possible and create some stress, right? And so when we offer un inappropriate thoughts, words, and actions, these are negative messages, and they can create problems in our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual worlds. And so by doing practices such as this or receiving blessings uh, such as the transmission systems, um, then you can bring huge and positive change to your life. I see a question uh, Jason asks, is this like Reiki? There's a significant difference, uh, Jason, in that this practice deals with the root causes, the root causes being negative messages and some teachings they would call that um, uh, karma and other teachings they might call that the sins of the father the sins of the son the the, the harm that we have done to others those create uh, negative and positive messages in our life when we do good things for others when we do good services and think positive things and serve others those bring positive benefits into our life to the best of my knowledge Reiki doesn't deal with those uh, specifics whereas this wisdom this teaching these practices and the healing methodologies that are offered by the practitioners uh, uh, such as myself a master teacher work with these uh, very differently we deal with things at the level of origination and release the blockages at the level of origination um, replacing those negative energy and negative message blockages with positive energy and positive messages uh, uh, and while also offering some protections. And so this is a, a substantial difference in, in the approach and their results as well. And so I want to thank everybody for their presence. Uh, thank you for sharing this video. If you would like to receive some individual blessings, um, of course there is an honor fee for that. Just like you would go to see any practitioner, you have to honor for it. But um, uh, And there's no promises on the results, but historically speaking there have been some very, very good results using these methods. So you can connect with me through Facebook or Facebook Messenger if you wish. Uh, my website is asoulhealer.com. I look forward to serving you and I will return on Sunday to chant the song of love, peace and harmony for those with the condition of cancer. Uh, unconditional service creating positive messages, positive energy which of course will affect all those who come in a very positive way releasing the, the negativity and helping their health and wellness. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.